Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll bust out a bonus video, so I don't want you to miss any of them. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all everything that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I did a little series on my Instagram story showing you all my top five picks of each category. And those are like my holy grails, things that I always use and I think that you guys would enjoy as well. So I wanted to show you guys the things that I picked up during this um, sale. I did pick up a few of my holy grails, you know, re-upped, and then I picked up some new items too. So if you are interested, then stick around. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I picked up a couple of skincare products and these were on my list that I recommended, so I needed to re-up myself. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Night Cream, the Magic Night Cream. I absolutely love this, you guys. So the packaging is just so beautiful. Look at this, like, I mean, you just can't beat Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. And I received this in PR months, maybe last year actually. And I absolutely love this so much. I was like happy that it worked for me and then upset at the same time because that meant I have to buy it. And this is not cheap. So this is like 150 something dollars on the website, I do believe. Um, and it is like a Vaseline type of texture. But when you put it on your face, you only need a little bit. When you put it on your face, it really does melt into the skin. You wear this at night, of course. And when you wake up, you guys, you have the softest, most beautiful skin. It is just so hard to like really explain. Of course, it's gonna be soft but it just looks so clear and buoyant and just, I mean, youthful. It's amazing. Literally magic night cream. I mean, they were not lying, you guys. So this is what I picked up. And again, the packaging is gorgeous. So on this packaging, she kind of gives you like a four step process on how you can apply it and what it will do. But overall, it just says bathe your skin in an instant fountain of youth while you sleep. So love this. So next up, I picked up the Magic Eye Rescue Cream and I used this before as well. Love this. Ran out and I'm like, this eye cream was the only one that I really noticed a difference with. Um, it really did help the dark circles under my eyes. And again, it just makes your skin look a lot more youthful and buoyant. Um, so I absolutely love this. And it's kind of similar to the same um, consistency, almost like an oily or like Vaseline type of cream, but it does not feel extremely heavy on the skin. But again, you use these at night because you don't want to wear this like under makeup or anything. I wouldn't. It just didn't feel, it doesn't seem like it would feel that great, like if, especially in the hot heat. So absolutely love this. I'm so happy to have this back in my regimen, you guys, because it has definitely been missed. Okay. I also picked up three lip products from Charlotte and I absolutely love two of these. I already have and just wanted to uh, get a backup of. The first one is the Pillow Talk lipstick. And this lipstick is so beautiful. It is like a pinky nude it looks amazing on darker skin tones i think this looks really nice on a lot of different skin tones but it's like a mauvey pink and her formula is amazing i mean charlotte tilbury is not a cheap brand by any means you are going to pay for it but you do get the quality behind the product so i'm not upset about that packaging is beautiful it's like a rose gold packaging so it looks amazing when you pull it out of your handbag or your little makeup bag so i really do stand behind charlotte tilbury products I'm so happy that I was able to test them out um, you know and really see how I like them but since I've tested them out I can't stop talking about them and I wouldn't recommend them to you all if they were not as good as what they claim to be so absolutely love this lipstick my lips have been pretty dry I've mentioned this before during quarantine and her lipsticks are very moisturizing even though they are like a matte finish 
I also picked up the Pillow Talk Lip Luster, and this is just like a lip gloss. It's not very, very glossy, um, but it is like a very nice compliment to that lipstick. I like it a lot. And if I find myself needing a little bit more gloss, I'll just add a clear gloss or something on top. But this is what it looks like. Again, beautiful packaging. Um, it is kind of small though, but it's really pretty. And again, this pink tone looks amazing on so many different skin tones. So I absolutely love this, had to re-up. And I also picked up another lip luster. I thought I was getting one of their collagen lip glosses because I really wanted to try those out. But this one is in Seduction and to me it looks very similar to Pillow Talk. I guess it's a little bit more of a peachy nude um, than a pinky nude, but that's how that looks. And it's nice. I'm not sure if I'll, I probably will keep it just because it's a hassle at this time to send anything back. But I was looking for a peachy, peachy type of color um, because I go between like a couple different nude types of lips. I like a pinky nude or I like a very peachy nude in the summertime. And then I like you know, like a brownie nude as well. So I thought this would be my peachy nude, but it's not. Again, this is in Seduction in case you are interested in that. Okay, so that's all of the Charlotte Tilbury products. I do have another lipstick though, a lip product, and I'm trying out the Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipsticks. I'm really excited to try this out. I got this one in Power Play, of course, another nude. I mean, go figure. But I do have his Diamond Gloss, I believe it's called, and I absolutely love it. It is in Sugar Baby. So this is the nude lip, and look how beautiful this nude is. Like I really did a good job with picking this nude color because I had never seen um, these before, but I knew that I liked his brand. So of course, during the sale, I was looking like, you know, for things to maybe try out. And this nude color is just beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh, it's so pretty. It has an interesting smell, almost like a candy lipstick kind of smell to it. It's very interesting. I like it. And the packaging is so sleek and pretty as well. So my next makeup product is another re-up and this is my primer. I use this primer every single day. This is the Tarte Poreless Primer and it is like a mattifying and a poreless primer. Um, I highly recommend this one if you like a smoothing primer and also something that is going to kind of keep your oils at bay. I will admit though, since I've been taking really good care of my skin, going to an esthetician, I'm no longer really oily anymore. My skin is is extremely balanced so if you find yourself being very oily uh, I would recommend you know a facial or something like that but this one really does work I love this it does more smoothing that I than I would say holding back oils because it's not water-based but it really does a really good job of like keeping the makeup on and I just can't, I can't go without this one. I used to not really believe in primers too much, but this one really changed the game for me. It's simple, but it's effective. So I like this one a lot. Okay, so this is my last makeup product, I do believe. I, I don't know why I felt like I bought so much more, probably because of the price. Um, and those skincare products really can take up your tab. But this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, okay? Now, I used this before. This is my second time buying this particular foundation. I'm in the shade Hazelnut. And one thing I will say about this foundation, I never thought that I would like a Bare Minerals foundation. First of all, I don't like powder foundations much at all. But this one is a liquid, as you can see. And you guys, this is like the most smoothing foundation ever. It looks so beautiful. I remember when I used to wear this, I used to get tons and tons and tons of compliments on this. I absolutely love it. Now, when I did wear this, I would wear it only in the winter time because I felt myself being like having to kind of touch up a little bit with a little powder. But because my skin has been drier and it's not like oily as much anymore, and I'm gonna be working from home for at least another 60 days. That was just confirmed today, oh my goodness. Um, I wanted to pick this up again. Now, so this is a 24 hour full coverage natural matte finish 
Good for skin formula is transfer resistant and flash back proof. Now, I don't know if it's transfer resistant. I don't think any foundation is 100% transfer resistant, but I will say this does last quite some time when I would wear it and it does give you that natural matte finish. It's It makes your skin look like skin. You don't look super powdery, super matte, and I don't like an overly matte finish anymore. I like for my skin look, to look youthful and supple and to have a natural glow, but not glow we if that makes any sense so I like this one a lot and I'm excited to try this again sometimes when you haven't used a foundation in a while you forget how it works so I'm hoping that this one is good so I just looked at the shade and this is in cinnamon now this is what they recommended for me and I was just going to talk about the shade hazelnut which used to be 25 did they change it I'm confused but the shade hazelnut I thought it was 25 I felt like it was a tad bit light for me but anything darker was way too dark or way too red and I'm hoping this one is not too red because I'm a neutral undertone um so we'll see about this and yeah I don't know this looks different than what I'm used to this does have a pump, so we love that. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, again, I'm hoping that the color is nice on my skin tone. What do you guys think? Okay, so the last few items I have are fragrances, of course. I mean, if you know me, you already know the tea. She loves to smell good. So I picked up a few um, re-ups. Most of them are re-ups, and I have like two new ones. So the first thing I have is this Bum Bum Cream set. Now, the story behind this, the Brazilian Bum bum cream i absolutely love the cream itself and then they came out with um an actual fragrance so i was like i'm just gonna buy it but it's a hundred dollars and honestly this is like a to me fresh out of the shower kind of just like run into the post office kind of scent it's not a scent that like you know it's not like a um rich scent and i love to smell rich it's not like a um confident scent and i love to feel that as well it's just one of those like throw on and go so i decided to get the full set and it came with this body mist now blasphemy because i don't really use body sprays um but i really wanted to test out the scent itself so i got this because it had the body spray it also had a little shower gel and it also gave me another bum bum cream so i had to pick it up and i think this was only about like maybe 19 dollars, maybe 25 not too much so yeah i think that this is like a really good deal for everything that you do get and i honestly am glad that i did pick this up instead of um the actual perfume itself because i've heard that that perfume does not last very long on the skin and to me like i said this is like a run to the grocery store type of scent you know not something that i'd wear when i'm actually getting dressed up now let's say if i was going on a tropical vacation somewhere i would definitely take this because who does not want to smell like coconut goodness on an island okay so i think it's great for that but just like when you're actually getting dressed up and nice and pretty um i wouldn't really wear this so i like it but i also do think that this is a good layering scent so if you find yourself loving like myself a nice um coconutty sweet vanilla type of base you can always mix this scent with some of your others or layer like the cream and put on your other fragrances as well. So that's what I'll be doing with this. Next up, I have a Jo Malone fragrance and they just package everything so pretty that you don't even want to open it. I don't even want to take this bow off, but this is a re-up for me. Um, I had the travel size. Now I just have, I think this is the one ounce, but this is the Peony peony i'm sorry peony and blush suede someone corrected me and they was like it's peony not peony so it's peony and blush suede um i love this as a house scent i like to smell like that and honestly that is different for me because usually what i like for my house i wouldn't dare want to smell like that but i did start off wearing this as a fragrance and then i started getting into the candles and the um diffuser which i have sitting right there you probably can't see it but i absolutely love this scent especially for spring and summer this is a very floral scent but it's just something about it that i absolutely love um it's just it's so beautiful to me um, and this one lasts decently. We all know Jo Malone doesn't tend to last too long. Um, my wood sage and sea salt, I get pretty good, you know, 
longevity on that. And this one as well. And they actually come in a set too. So I highly recommend that set if you want to try both of them out. But I knew I love this one and I have a large one of the Joe Malone Witch Sage and Sea Salt. So had to pick this one up. I can't wait to wear this. Let me smell this again. Mm, yeah, she's good. I don't know why I smelled it because I can smell it with the diffuser, but I love this. It's so pretty. I just see myself wearing like this floral top with this um, or just like a beautiful like sundress or baby doll dress. It's just pretty and it smells so good. So try this out if you haven't already. And it's a must that I wrap her back up properly because she was just too cute. She was just too cute. Okay, next up we have another re-up. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. Now, if you watched my um, fragrance collection video, you would have saw that I had the huge bottle of this and I had that probably since like 2012. It's done, but the bottle's so pretty, I keep it on my dresser. Um, and I love that fragrance, even though I've kind of moved away from like designer fragrances a little bit. I still like this one for the spring and summer. It's safe, it's girly, it's beautiful. Um, it's it's clean and some days you just wanna smell pretty and clean and this is one that I still love. So I decided to get the smaller size and of course it does not have like the flowers on it but I like this packaging too. I thought that this was really cute. So this is the 0 0.67 fluid ounce. Why didn't I just get the one ounce? I don't know, child. I find myself, I don't reach for it all the time, but the days that I do want it, I want to have it, you know? So how cute is she though? This little bottle is adorable. So this is what it looks like. And it's so cute, you guys. Like, it's so cute. It's not a big one at all. I don't know why I thought I got a one ounce, but I thought this was cute. So obviously I saw it, but I didn't read what size it really was. But this will probably be enough because again, I don't reach for this, but on the days that I want to smell like this, I want to have it. You know what I'm saying? And this is a good one for travel, especially in the summertime. It's like I said, safe, perfect for every occasion. And it lasts a long time on me as well. Okay, so I have two more fragrances from Sephora and both of these are brand new to me. I had never smelled them, so they are blind buys. And I'm also going to sneak in two more that I bought from Saks. So the first one is the K. Ali um, vanilla scent. Now people rant and rave about this scent and the packaging is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. So this has vanilla orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. All the things that I absolutely love. The only thing that is missing that is usually very reminiscent of any of my fragrances is a floral note. I like a, you know, warm floral, but of course it's called vanilla. So look at this. OMG. Now I got the smaller bottle because I wasn't sure. Okay. But I had to get a little piece of this Kaoli in my collection. It's so cute. Now, when I got this, I was a little nervous because I'm like, this seems a little dark. And some of the other um, bottles that I see other people having, it's a much lighter, I thought juice but this is very dark so i'm not gonna lie i cheated a little bit and i did spray this now i love this scent a lot of people say that this is a very authentic vanilla scent and i would have to agree it smells like vanilla but that the woods that they put in there that tonka absolute the things that they mix in there it's so good the orchid really does do it for me it is a gourmand, but it's very light. And the orchid, like, it really brightens it up a little bit. And it makes it not so heavy. It's just beautiful. I love this. Now, a lot of people complain about this one not lasting very long on the skin. And I could see what they mean because it's very light and airy and just a fluffy vanilla smell, if that makes any sense. So um, I can see this being like a fleeting smell you know, not giving too much sillage or anything like that. But one thing I will say, I think it's worth just having in your collection. It smells amazing. Um, just carry a little bit with you, maybe in a decant or actually try layering this with other ones um, because it's good. It's worth a sniff, I would say. It's worth a sniff. Um, she really did a good job with this. This is like Huda Beauty's um, fragrance collection. So 
I love, I, I actually love it. I'm shocked, you guys. It smells really good. I'm going to put a little of this on, actually. Oh, can't forget the nozzle on this is such a fine mist. It's like you're spraying, um, like, Fix Plus or something on your face. It's beautiful. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, yes. Now, last but not least, we have Valentina Donna Born in Roma. Now, I was recommended this by one of my subscribers after her watching my um, fragrance collection video. She said, I can tell you like warm florals, you need to try this one. So I was so scared because I'm like, people always feel like they know me, but they don't be knowing me like that. And so I said, I'm gonna test it out just to see it's gonna be on sale. So of course I just got the travel size. And you guys, when I got this, life was different, okay? Life was really different. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. I am. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Um, this smells absolutely phenomenal. Okay. So I had to pull out my phone because this is a fairly new fragrance and I wanted to read you all the notes on this one. This one came out in 2019 and this is a flanker of some of the other Valentino um, Donna's. So this one again is Born in Roma and this one has black currant, bergamot. The heart notes are jasmine grandiflorum, uh, jasmine sambac, jasmine tea. The base notes are bourbon vanilla, cashmere, and something wood. Guayac, I can't pronounce that one. But you guys, what I do smell is that cashmere. I smell the jasmine. I smell that black currant. This smells so good. And as you know, it has the notes that I love. It has that vanilla in there. It has like a little woodiness in there that I love. And it also has a floral um, in there with the jasmine. So this smells like so good. And again, when you start to move from designer fragrance into niche, it's really hard to go back. So many smell like the Macy's counter. And honestly, I just don't want to smell like the Macy's counter. But this one smells amazing. The only regret with this is me not getting the larger size, okay? Because as soon as I sprayed this on myself, as soon as the package came in, which it took forever for everything to get here, um, as soon as I got this, I was on the website looking like, how can I buy this? And I still might because I love it so much. But I said, hold your horses, make sure you love it, wear it, you know, wear this one. You do have this one. So wear this and see how you like it and then go ahead and get the bigger one because it's going to be there. But I'm just a bit obsessive sometimes, but I got to check myself too. So like if I want something, I just want it now. But I love this and even mix with that Kayali uh, vanilla. It's a vibe and this one is way stronger. So it's going to, I think, last on you a lot longer. I wanna spray this again, but I'm gonna I'm hold off. It's so good though. Love this. Okay guys, so that is the end for the Sephora things. But again, I did say I wanted to sneak in two other fragrances. Um, I'm not gonna do a full video on just two fragrances, but I did pick up two fragrances on sale. As you all know, because of the coronavirus, like they've been having sales everywhere. So these were both 25% off. These are both niche fragrances. The first one that I picked up is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Now, if you have not been under a rock, okay, you've heard all about this fragrance. It is a gourmand and anyone that talks about this, they always mention if you like gourmand, you need this one in your collection. So the notes in this one are Oud, Praline, and Rose. And first of all, the packaging. Like, can we? Like, I'm not able. The packaging on this is beautiful. Look at this. It's just phenomenal, okay? So, when I smell this, it's definitely very oody. Oh, this is so satisfying. First of all, this is like a magnetic. Oh, it's satisfying. But this fragrance, you guys, is very oody, very gourmand, very sweet, praline-y, smoky a little bit. It has a little incense in it. Um, it smells really good, but it is an acquired taste in my opinion, okay? 
Now, Shagoff Oud by Swiss Arabian is supposed to be a dupe for this. I do have Shagoff Oud and they are very similar, I will say. So if you want me to do a comparison video between the Lancome Oud Bouquet and the Shagoff Oud, um, I will do that. This retails for about 200 and something dollars while Swiss Arabian's um, Shagoff Oud only retails for about 37 to 40 dollars, you know? So if you want a comparison, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Um, but yeah, if you like Oud, if you like Praline, if you like, um, Rose, then you would love this scent too. I think it's a good one to have in your, um, collection, especially if you are a niche collector. You have to have it. That's what they all say. So I think I have to agree. And last but not least, we have another Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Uh, you guys, he is my favorite. Francis Kirkjohn is my absolute favorite perfumer I have learned. He really did just change the game for me. I mean, I like Niche before I had an MFK fragrance, but his fragrances are just so well blended. Everyone says it, but it is the absolute truth. I love just smelling beautiful, and that's exactly what he does with every single fragrance. He makes you smell beautiful, rich, confident. It's just, it's good. So I picked up Oud Silk Mood. Now, little story behind this. I did smell this once when I was um, in Atlanta, I do believe. And I think I smelled Satin Mood, which everyone rants and raves about. And I smelled Baccarat. I ended up getting Baccarat. So because everyone talks about Oud Satin Mood, being the Libra that I am, it's like, I want to be a part, but I don't want to be a part. So I did not want to get Oud Satin Mood because everyone has it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to get Oud Silk Mood. So Oud Silk Mood is definitely a rose Oud powdery fragrance. This one is very unique. However, if you want to get into Ouds and you don't want something too Oudy, this is a nice one because it is a very soft oud mixed with that rose. I mean, I get a, a heavy dose of rose in this. So if you like rose fragrances, you'll love this. Um, and it's not too, it's not sweet, re really. It's more of a powdery rose oud. And so it's, um, I think it's a simple fragrance, but it's blended so well. But I kind of regret it. Um, it smells beautiful, but Satin Mood probably is more of a vibe, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think that they smell similar at all, so you can definitely have both. Um, and I got this one on sale, of course, but yeah. This one retails, I think, for $300, and I got it on sale for $225. So, you know, a decent deal, if you will, but it's it's nice. I mean, I just like having the MFKs in my collection. I do wear them all. I have, this is my third one. I have Baccarat Rouge 540 and I also have the Gentle Fluidity Gold. So definitely want to add a couple of more. So if you have any recommendations for MFK fragrances, please leave them down below. I've also been looking at the House of Siage. I definitely want to try some of those out, but I have not smelled any of those. So a blind buy on that is going to be quite expensive. Um, um, so I may do like some of the little discovery kits. So yeah, you guys, that is the end of my Sephora VIB sale haul with a couple of bonuses. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was late, but I literally just got this package this week. So please forgive me. I hope it's still interesting to you. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you on my next one. Bye, y'all.